You know, I was thinking, I was, the, the one verse we read earlier in Luke, I was thinking, Jesus says, no, that isn't why they were killed, not because of their great sin. And he says, unless you repent, you will also, also likewise perish. Well, what does that mean? You, you repent. You choose the way of Jesus. Right? Really, in that house situation, uh, all I did, if you look at it in, in context of that scripture, I repented of that house. Right? I'm going down, to, I, we are going to buy this house right here. And finally, I realized that's not Jesus. So I repent of that. And I'm going to find the house Jesus wants us to have. What I should have done about Hawaii, I should have said, uh, Karen, I don't believe Jesus is saying go. So we're not going right now. Not that we can't go in the future, but we're not going right now. And I would have repented of Hawaii. See that? And we, we try and put it on these huge, huge things, these huge scales where we're like, yeah, in this big situation, you know. But no, they're in the little things of life, right? They can be in the tiniest little thing. I was going down to SIDS, but the Lord said, not right now. I repent of going to SIDS right now. <laughs> I go somewhere else. Right? You go down to SIDS. I'm just, you know, throwing something out. Uh, there's a robbery at SIDS. Someone pulls a gun, you're dead. Jesus was trying to say, don't go to SIDS. See that? See how this stays in the secret place? This is the thing most, most of the time, no one teaches, but it's life changing. It'll get you into the perfect will of God. And we're all going to mess up. Come on. I messed up. You'll mess up. I'll mess up again, I'm sure. But I tell you, the more we look to him. The more we look to the eternal things, Jesus, of course, being eternal, right? The more we look to him, the more he can protect us and direct us. He wants to protect us and direct us. Maybe I should name the sermon that. Protect us and direct us if we keep our eyes on the right thing. Come on. We have to look at Jesus. Come on, keep our eyes on Jesus. And then we have to obey Jesus. If we're going to stay in the secret place of the Most High, we have to look at Him and we have to obey Him. Right? That's what love does. That goes back to Psalm 91. He has set His love upon me, therefore I will deliver Him. The more madly in love we are with the Lord, the more we're going to love to Him. 